Sorry for the LT. What is it? Why are you calling me this early? Are you ready for the first Afrikaans miniseries Wait, on what? Netflix? Are you serious? Yes. No, you're joking, no, man. I'm 100% serious. serious. Okay. What's the series called? Ludic. Ludic. Okay. Okay, now we have to see it. I'm too intrigued. Um, so I'll see you guys in a bit. And let's go. Come on, call. On my Where's way. Where's that button? Where's the remote? Just press no, play. You have to switch. Where are you putting? Whoa! What an exceptional series. But before that, let's start from the beginning. Ludic tells the story of Don Ludic, an enterprising furniture tycoon who makes most of his money within the business from a secret diamond smuggling operation. But when his brother-in-law is held hostage, he's forced to smuggle something a bit larger than diamonds over the border for an Irish weapons dealer. But when things go south, Don must juggle both his family life and this newly criminal underworld he just stepped into who threatens to upend and destroy this perfect world he has created for both him and his family. So I must say overall, uh, this series is phenomenal, fantastic. I'm definitely giving this series a 20 out of 20 South African flags uh, for this series. Not only was the writing exceptional from both Paul Byers and Anne-Marie van Barton, but the acting chops of some of these uh, South African actors we have grown up with um, is quite a new thing to see playing these complex characters than just a generic, soapy driven characters they played before. But uh, also the action, action, the editing shows that South African productions can stand toe to toe with, uh, with series like uh, Stranger Things and Ozark, which is personally for me a fantastic thing to see. As an aspir aspiring writer myself, it's quite good to see that we can weave complex storylines uh, throughout this, uh, this series that is perfect to be picked up for a season 2. I hope Netflix please pick it up for a season 2 or just end it by, uh, for season 1. Uh, because it just ended so nicely that it can go either ways because I always am not a fan if uh, if some of the creators of series decided they have a free season arc and by season one uh, they ding up stuff for future seasons and don't get picked up then it's very disappointing so I'm glad that I ended it here where it can either either or uh, be g going forward so and leaving and ending it quite nicely for a continuation in the series if they make a season 2 which please Netflix make a season 2 um, especially threats they left open like now that Swayze is quote unquote uh, Dawn's right hand man how's that whole relationship gonna look like and also uh, Dawn's relationship with Charlie his oldest friend and confidant in the business uh, delivering the last shipment of guns and possibly being kidnapped or uh, being killed possibly we heard a gunshot but we don't know who has been hit and what's the whole uh, what's going on there so that would be also nice to see and also now that Aaron Brown is out of the picture is there other uh, net in the network of of weapon handlers that's gonna try to take over the space what type of void does it leave in South Africa for the weapon smugglers if I don't we don't know if he's part of a whole connection or underworld organization so it's going to be quite nice to see exactly if somebody's going to fulfill that space or what exactly is going to happen there so uh, that's all the threads that i can pick up and continue so that would be quite nice to see personally for me so i'm quite happy they didn't um, tease everything up with uh, like many of the international productions do and said but wait for season 2 when you don't know if season 2 is definitely confirmed so I'm, I'm, I like that they tempered their ex expectations and left enough to be uh, aspired to if there's a season 2 so Netflix please make a season 2 of Ludic so yeah that was my overall thoughts of the series um, quite happy a must watch in the words of uh, Don Ludic fucking fantastic show and uh, let me know what did you think uh, in the comments down there below. Like, subscribe, do all that fancy stuff. Until next time, cheers. Uh, oh, please don't that bad.